रिस्पेक्टिव सेशन ऑफ आई एस आर के इंडियन स्टूडेंट रिसर्च इन कोरिया इज नॉन प्रॉफिट वॉलेंटियर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन साउथ कोरिया डेट एम्स टू कनेक्ट ऑल द इंडियन ओरिजिनल स्टूडेंट एंड रिसर्चर्स रिसाइडिंग इन साउथ कोरिया एंड प्रोवाइड देम विथ एजुकेशनल रिसर्च सोशल रिक्रेशनल जॉब एंड कम्युनिटी सपोर्ट दिस हैव बीन स्टार्टेड इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एंड विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ ऑल द आई एस आर के टीम मेंबर्स एडुकेशनल टीम कल्चरल टीम स्टूडेंट अफेयर्स एंड स्पोर्ट्स टीम टी डेट आई एस आर के बिकम्स द फैमिली ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड मेंबर्स एंड टूडे वी गेट गॉट द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू हेल्प आवर फेलो इंडियंस थ्रू ए स्कॉलरशिप सेशंस सो नाउ वील हैव द ग्लिम्सेस ऑफ थ्री ईयर्स वर्क डन बाय आई एस आर के this is the composition of uh, all the members and now we will share the glimpses of isrk isrk have signed uh, several mou moment of of understanding with uh, different organizations to help our indian students in korea we have also signed mou with the honorary consul general of hyderabad we mainly focus on education and research and uh, since 3 years we are conducting the uh, scholarship sessions and we also got the kind support from korean and indian embassy from india and korea this is the last year uh, sessions in which more than 100 people have joined these are community support or uh, during the pandemic in 2020 and 21 and we have also signed several uh, work about the walk the talk podcast there are different uh, podcast in different languages we have also work on the like girl safety and how uh, awareness about the girls in korea
Uh, these are the all the culture activity in Korea by the ISRK. Now, uh, these are the glimpses of three years of work of ISRK. Today, uh, we'll have the detail about the ISRK sessions. ISRK team is organizing free live interaction sessions for three months from February, April 2023 regarding the different scholarship programs in Korea to help our Indian students from smaller towns this year too. Around 200 students benefited from that initiative last year. The motive of this free interactive sessions is to provide benefit to all the Indian students from smaller towns who are unable to do their higher study without the scholarships. ISRK live interactive sessions with Indian researchers in Korea will provide detailed experience of process eligibility and the application process, research field, as well as selection procedure for BS, MS, PhD, postdoctoral, MBA, internal finance, Korean language, and job opportunity in Korea. Total, we'll, we have planned 10, uh, 10 sessions on different scholarship, which will be organized with a scholarship recipient, four to five speakers for each session on every Sunday at 6 p.m. at the same time and 2.30 p.m. IST from today till 30 April. For more updates, please follow us on ISRK Facebook. Today, we'll have the first live sessions on the educational information in Korea. And now I will kind to invite our educational team, Dr. Vasudeo Rediji, who is also a uh, professor in the Yugnam University and is staying in Korea more than eight years. He will share about himself and all the uh, speakers and all the sessions will be host by the Vasudevji. Now I request Vasudevji to take care of this session. Uh, thank you, Dr. Uh, 
thank you so much me for a nice introduction about the ASRK educational activities and also about ASRK and uh, also thank you for introducing me. Hey, uh, namaste. Hello, uh, everyone. Anyanga Sayo. Welcome to the ISRK live interactive session on the education and employment with the Indian researchers in South Korea. So, this uh, ISRK started since uh, 18th May 2020. So, first of all, myself, uh, my name is Dr. Vasyavreti. I am working as an international research professor, uh, energy major, School of Chemical Engineering, College of Engineering, Indian University. Genbukto, uh, South Korea. So, uh, as uh, like uh, like mentioned, ISRK is a non-profit and voluntary organization. Now, we, this session, uh, live interactive session, is dedicated for the education. So, uh, for this, uh, as a first session, uh, we are giving the educational information in South Korea. Uh, in this session, we will cover kindergarten, school, and uh, university education overview. First of all, uh, I am the host of uh, this session and also uh, the speaker. So the next speaker is uh, uh, C. Suma. He is a PhD student at Engnam University in Mechanical Engineering Department, um, Engnam University, South Korea. She is currently working on supercapacitors and zinc uh, ion batteries. Uh, Mr. Suma is a, uh, came from the Bangalore, India. She completed her bachelor degree in electronics and communication engineering at Rajiv Gandhi Institution of Technology, Bangalore. After the graduation, she also worked as a uh, LED uh, test engineering for innovation technology private limited company. She is also mother. She will share her experience uh, how to care the kids in the kindergarten. And the next speaker is the Dr. Asia uh, Tamboli. She is a postdoctoral researcher at Korean Institute of Energy Technology, Nazu, Del Mondo, South Korea. She worked at Engnam University as a research professor. She is developing currently nanostructured materials for the uh, water electrolysis production of the hydrogen and storage. She has published almost 25 international journals. She issued the PhD degree in 2018 uh, from the Center of Material Science and Electronics, Pune. She also qualified the prestigious exam of uh, India CSI Net 47 and SET exam. So, uh, another speaker is Professor Janardhan Reti Koduru, is a professor of environmental engineering at Hongwan uh, University, Seoul, South Korea. He has over 19 years of experience in the academic and research. Dr. Koduru uh, expertise in the development of sustainable nanocomposites for environmental and energy application. He published several papers in the international journals, more than 100, and he has more than 10 um, book chapters. He also got 14 awards. So uh, he worked as an uh, editor for various journals. So the, he will share the education information about the school. So first of all, okay, um, so for the presentation aspect, uh, I will explain the uh, about the education. So uh, Dr. Lady, she mentioned the, uh, we are going to organize 10 sessions. So at the first session, we are discussing here about the education information in South Korea. Education, so the meaning of the true education is the harmonious development of physical, mental, moral, and social. This is uh, the four dimensions of our life. Before 21st century means who cannot read and write is illiterate. So in the 21st century, the illiterate means those who cannot learn, unlearn, and learn. So every, uh, everyone, students, parents, and teachers have the belief on the uh, schooling. Following are the beliefs, learn and gain self-knowledge develop life and social skills and optimize the life chances and quality of life and enabling the future employment and uh, uh, incoming well-being. So in general, uh, everyone thought education is a bipolar process. 
between the teacher and student. And also it is a uh, tripolar process. Uh, that atmosphere of the education affects the seriously the education process. Education is generally three types, formal education, informal education, and non-formal non education. So in this session, series of sessions, we are going to discuss about the formal education process. So, Generally, education has several aims. After attending the ISRK live interaction session, you will find and set your aim. This table shows the comparison of the education, uh, Indian education structure and also the South Korean education structure. The, uh, the old education structure of India and also the South Korean education system are same. The recently Indian government would like to strengthen the education, therefore announce the new structure. If you see here, uh, the structure, the Indian world education system has 10 plus 2. That means schooling 10 years and the secondary education 2 years. New education system has uh, 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. That means 5 for the basic, 3 for the foundation, and also 3 for the middle school, and remaining 4 for the secondary school. South Korean education system has a similar like our old education system, 6 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. That means uh, kindergarten up to the six years. Uh, six, uh, after six years, the elementary education will start. Up to 12 is the elementary education. After the 12 years, the student will go to the middle school up to 15th age. Thereafter, uh, they will enter to the higher uh, high school. That is the age from 15 to 18. After 18 years, the education system, either it is new or new, or, or even uh, South Korean system is the same. So that is a college and university education system. So first, uh, Mr. Summa will explain, uh, and uh, Mr. Summa and Dr. Asha will share their experience regarding the nursery and the kindergarten. And Professor Janardhan Reddy will share uh, his experience regarding the elementary school education. Finally, I will share the university education system. So now uh, I invite uh, Mr. Suma, uh, please uh, share your experience. A warm welcome, hmm. Mr. Suma. Uh, hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Sorry, good evening. Oh, can you see the screen? Share screen? Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, today I'm explaining Today, I'm explaining about uh, kindergarten information in Gyeongbukdo, South Korea. Uh, my name is Suma. I'm a PhD student. So, there are two types of kindergarten. One is a private kindergarten and the other one is a government kindergarten. The government kindergarten admission procedure is uh, based on the lottery. And the private kindergarten... In private kindergarten, the admission procedure, first we need to find kindergarten which is nearby to our place. After the admission, we need to submit ARC card of parents and kids. So the so when it comes to the fee structure, from March 2023, the government will support foreign kids with 200,000 Korean own as a kindergarten fees to support the foreign kids and the remaining amount we have to pay according to the fees structure and the school timings there will be a certain timings available 
according to the kindergarten we can choose which time is comfortable for the kids and the nap time there will be a nap time available for the kids in the afternoon after having their lunch about teacher when it comes to the teachers teachers are very friendly and can ask any questions and doubts regarding kids through messages teacher will take care of the kids very well so no need to worry about the kids when they are in the kindergarten so when it comes to the holidays there will be one week holiday for summer and one week for the winter and uh, about teaching there will be a english class twice in a week and korean class every day and uh, there will be a, a cooking class will be held and the physical education class will be once in a week and there will be stories will be conducted by the grandmother and these are the education system it conducted in the kindergarten for the kids and when it comes to the facilities there will be a school bus available for the kids and breakfast lunch and snacks are provided and there will be some apps they will up, teachers will update through that apps uh, like there will be like a, a kids note and kakao through that they will update about uh, the kids activity on their daily basis and the school bag is provided and uh, there will be a school outing uh, once in a week once in a month or twice in a month it depends on the kindergarten and this is the uh, application in this uh, this use in my uh, in in my kids school this is the kids note application so i can see uh the daily kids activity they will uh, update through this uh, app and there will be some fun activities like uh, drawing coloring and sand play and uh, there are many more activities will be held in the kindergarten and uh, there will be a uh, celebrations like birthday celebrations and festival celebrations and uh, uh, many like uh, korean uh, festival celebration chuseok and uh, uh, they will celebrate uh, christmas everything there will be celebrated in the this kindergartens and thank you for inviting me to share my knowledge about kindergarten i hope this information will be useful for the people like me and others thank you so much uh, mr suma uh, now i welcome dr ashia could you please share your screen please mm. continue yes dr <clears throat> just a second Uh, first of all hello everyone uh, can you see my slides yeah yeah please go ahead yeah uh, first of all a very good evening to all of you and uh, uh, i would like to give my my introduction so myself dr asia damboli i am a post doctoral researcher at korea institute of energy technology kentech naju jolanamdo and uh, uh, dr vasu has already introduced myself so uh, before starting before discussing this uh, uh, information about the kindergarten in the south korea i would like to thank all the audience who are uh, uh, who are listening and uh, i am very grateful to isrk for giving me this opportunity to share my experience and knowledge about the kindergarten so when we are when we come to korea 
then uh, whoever have child they first have a question about uh, what about the child's education or uh, what about the kindergarten and nursery so here the before 4 years of age there is uh, there are two types of uh, nursery system like in our india also we have play group nursery lkg ukg like that also here uh, means like 0 to 3 to 4 years i think it is ordinary gif and uh, 4 to 6 years it is uh, uh, ug1 so my daughter is going to uc1 so uh, first of all when every locality they have orinji and uc1 so we have to check the uh, where the kindergarten and orinji is available and according to our child's education uh, child's age we have to check is there a seat available or not and then uh, uh, we have to take the admission and already dr suma told the, these documents we required uh, for uh, like our ARC kids and parents and family certificate and then uh, they will in uh, in my area it is a uh, it is government kindergarten so it is like for fifty thousand for three months they took once for three months and uh, if we consider about the facilities provided by kindergarten these are very good kindergartens and they provide uh, like morning snacks lunch and evening breakfast and uh, uh, with this, they also give the bus service. They will come and take the kid and uh, also they will uh, drop them. Also, they provide school bag and also they provide one uniform. And uh, they have the field trips. Like they want to experience the child to the nature or other activities directly. So, so they take a child to there and uh, like some libraries or uh, some uh, museums and uh, some uh like uh, some uh research institute like that uh they they take the kid like three to four months uh, sorry three to four times in a month so like that uh, and the kids enjoy these uh, things then next uh, is the uh this actually there is the base um means a uh, basic difference between the orange jeep and the uchi one that is a uh, orange jeep is for the taking care of the child Mm, while in the UG1, they, they will more concentrate on the education. So they will uh, they will teach students to the basic etiquettes that, that is how to uh, greet teachers, parents, elders. All, also, there are activities like drawing, coloring, clay art, cake making, and craft making. So many things, they, there are so many fun activities. Also, in addition to that, there are... Uh, festival celebrations like Chusak, Halloween, Christmas, and uh, some birthday celebration. After that, they, give, they also educate about the science in the form of toys. Also, they have English class, but uh, uh, also they have some other activities about the culture. They, they teach about the culture, about the country, and uh, other things. So this is the... Uh, they they teach science in the form of uh, some toys. Here they they teach about the magnetism, and here the by repulsion the toys will move like that. Uh, they teach in the also they they show other things for the in which means kids can easily understand the basic mechanism and uh, uh, what is what is the means in our way when we. In India, when we learn, we just learn by books, not directly by the objects. So here they give these kinds of things to the children so they can easily understand the mechanism behind that. And these are the, some photographs of the activities. So they have done like uh, making some clay art, cake making, and also these are the uh, photographs of the, some field trips. They take to the child there and the children will enjoy it. My daughter every day want to go to school. So this is, uh, this is the basic difference between the Indian education for preschool education of India and here. So in my opinion, uh, this is very helpful for the child's growth and uh, their well-being. So in my opinion, compared to India, here Korea also have very good education system for the kids without, and also they don't have any, in, uh, they don't have any study. No classes uh, means they don't have to do exams. 
and uh, no examination. So that's why kids are very free here. And after that also they held the graduation and after the graduation, they give the certificate to the kids uh, and with some gifts also they provide. So in overall six, six to seven months, my daughter is going to the kindergarten and we have very good experience about it. And she is enjoying and she very easily adapt this. Even the language is also improving. So in my opinion, overall, the experience is good. And whoever is want to come to Korea, so in, in the view of kindergarten and the UG1 for kids, it is very good country. And we have very good, means the education system is very good here. For the kids before, uh, uh, means like preschool education, in my opinion, is very good. Uh, no pressure, also only fun activities and uh, they learn very easily. Uh, thank you. And thank you all of you for listening and giving me this opportunity to share my experience. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Asya, for sharing your valuable experience to the uh, Indian uh, friends. Now, uh, I am requesting uh, Professor Janardhan Reddy, please uh, share your screen and continue the Yes. <clears throat> so, did you audible? Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, thank you, Dr. Vasudev Reddy, to introduce me. So, uh, I'm Dr. Janardhan Reddy Koduru, working at Congo University. So I am sharing my experience with elementary school here. So in this content, I can cover like Korean education system and elementary school curriculum, how it is the elementary school curriculum and the size of the class and role of parents, especially parents role, how it is if you enter the elementary school, after school daycare centers, what we do and comparison of Indian and Korean education system, these things we can cover in this a session. So first I will like I would like to tell about the Korean education system. The Korean education system as I as Dr. Vasudev already told, same like the six plus three plus three and four basis. That means six years is primary school and uh, three years is middle school and uh, three years is high school and four years undergraduate uh, if you want some other courses in six years also they can take. So I will say that briefly about the primary education and uh, the secondary education and uh, sec the tertiary education here. Yeah. So the Korean education system, generally the class period, uh, primary, secondary, tertiary, as I told earlier, six, three, three plus uh, and four. The primary education is uh, six to 12 age. That is uh, the uh, students should enter in the six years age. According to our age is seven years, according to uh, means, uh, uh, yeah, According to our age is seven years, uh, but in Korean is six years. So the curriculum includes in here, uh, Korean language, math, science, social studies, and physical education. It's totally free and compulsory education. And I will go detail in next uh, slides about the primary education because I'm going to tell about the elementary school only now. So uh, next to the middle school and high school, we can say that secondary education. So middle school is mainly seventh grade to ninth grade. So they also teach like uh, so languages and math and science, social studies, and some other foreign language like English, French, some other languages also they can teach and art and music and physical education also. It is also free and compulsory and upper secondary education that is high school. Generally in India, the middle school and high school is combined, we will study, but here they separately study in the middle school to separate and high school is separate. So middle school up to middle schools is compulsory education in Korea, but in India uh, up to high school, they can be study, but some percentage people not enter in the high school or elementary school also. So upper secondary education, high school covers three years of schooling. And uh, it is not compulsory and also it is free in government, but in, there is a private schools also, but that is uh, they, they charge some 
tuition fee or some other things and uh, academic tracks uh, prepare, uh, prepares students higher education while vocational track prep, uh, uh, preparations that will be included in this I, I, uh, higher upper secondary school uh, education that means high schools 10th to 12th grade that means you know academic like you know what we study like uh, uh, mass physics science like that is academic also we can study or vocational that means some professional courses also they can teach in separate that means the schools are div different in uh, academic and uh, vocational for example i will tell in kwangon uh, high school they teach electronics especially electronics so if you want a socialized education, you can go the type of schools. So otherwise, if you want a general education, like means academic as we did in India, we can also join some schools, uh, separate schools. So that is general schools. So, but it is not compulsory in Korea, but in our cases, maybe we can study it. So tertiary education is after high school to enter the university that is the undergraduate that for that we need to have uh, that means they need to have the some test it is a highly competitive test that is called as a college scholarship ability test so based on that uh, rank in the test uh, they can get uh, admission in uh, different institute that means the ranked institute if you want to get good institute you need high rank so if you want a less rank if you get less rank we cannot get uh, in the high ranked institute that is the high competition that I told you. So student typically study for four years to earn bachelor's degree with some program listening up to six years also. It is important to note that the Korean education system has undergone significant reforms in recent years and the specific details of the system may vary depending on the region and type of the schools also. So now I am going to tell about the element school in detail, curriculum data. So the uh, in the elementary school generally the as I told you the primary ed education enter the students at sixth age and uh, finish at twelfth year. So the curriculum is mainly it contain Korean language, mathematics, science, and social studies, and music and other moral education also. The Korean language mainly designed to help students reading, writing, and speaking and listening. Especially they learned how to read alphabet of Korean alphabets and to study how literature we can study and the grammar, vocabulary, these things they can learn in the Korean language. And mathematics, it is covers range of topics, including number sense, algebra, geometry, and measurement and data analysis. Students develop their problem solving skills in these courses like mathematics. So how to solve the problem and how to we can use the variety of mathematical tools and uh, techniques that things we can learn from this. As I uh, told uh, Dr. Asia, so they can teach in uh, experimentally, practically. They can design some uh, articles and they can be explain how we can be uh, conduct, how we can be run, how we can be know these things like that. So the science also, the science curriculum desired help to students understand the natural world and develop scientific th thinking skills and topics covered in this uh, mainly the human body, that means biology and botany. Uh, and geology and matter and energy and earth spaces these things they can be uh, covered in this and as as i told social studies social studies mainly covered uh, history of uh, korea and geography culture and citizenship and also it is covered some other countries culture also so physical education the physical education can designed to help the student physical fitness and coordination and teamwork skills and students participate in range of activities including sports games and dance uh, different activities also they can include in the physical education and uh, they can have a lot of fun in the physical education art and music so that this art and music classes is more important for student so that means self creation and uh, uh, self development of the student that means you can they can develop their creativity and knowledge and self expression also in this art and music classes they can learn some other activities like uh, visual and musics and may may opportunity to perform their uh, exhibit their works also in the art and music and also they teach mainly that moral education in the moral education they teach how we can behave how we can be responsible how we have to uh, take care 
to the society these things they can be teach uh, to the children this is the most important uh, to grow the uh, children uh, in l manner so it is worth noting that uh, the specific of the korean elementary school curriculum may vary depending on the school region and others also so i cannot say say that uh, this rules all in same in all area but it is based on the region and depend uh, the location they can be changed that curriculum little bit so then how to get the elementary school admission that is the very important thing so in korea elementary school admission procedure can vary depending on the school and region also so for especially for foreign children the procedure can be bit more complex as they may need some additional document and compare to korean uh, so that is the first step is uh, to foreign children so, so the parents should be find a suitable elementary school in this in their area then they can easy to that uh, education school or education office and such for the available uh, vacation uh, vacancies for the student children and once the school is selected the parents should need to contact the school and enquire their admission policies and foreign for for especially for foreign students that means there is a, some uh, policies to foreign students so this should be considered that things and they can be ask the education officer they can be explained to you and uh, must and should as i experienced they need some documents like you know residence status that means they need a, a valid visa for parents and children both and that means uh, alien that means arc as you said it's arc uh, the parents must present the visa to the school during the admission process and passport copy also the children's passport copy also should be support we should be give to the school and also parents also and another thing is immunization record that means the health insurance or some record of the the children's have the time to time uh, vaccinations or not and these things the record should be submit to the school and academic transcripts so if the child has attended the school previously the school may require transcript to evaluate their academic ability and a determine grade placement also especially if you come from foreign countries they ask the transcript but in the it in the korea if you have the verni gbrg uh, kindergarten so you are directly admitting so they can have the record the online itself so they don't ask but when you come from foreign country that means the st children studied up to second or third grade in foreign study foreign and means in india so if you come here they he has to submit the transcript the mr uh, study certificate and transcripts these things to make uh, his grade placement and also they can be divided in different uh, sections also based on efficiency it means language efficiency and uh, marks these things and language proficiency also they will check it some schools may require foreign children to take language proficiency test to determine their level of korean language ability because it's all teachers in government schools they teach in korean even the private schools also teach in teach in korea so the means the students the children should be know the korea at least a basic level so then only you can be follow in these classes and in addition to the required document some schools may require a interview also if the child and their parents during the interview the school may ask questions about the child's academic background and the language abilities and family situation that means uh, the both parents are working or not are they know the korean language or not because uh, why i say uh, saying that korean language the parents should be no means uh, this should be more interacting with parents uh, you mean some homeworks or some activities the students uh, uh, parents should be know the korea then they can be interact with the teacher korean teacher so that's why that is they may ask this background things to before getting the admission some schools if you don't know korean language the parents don't know korean language or children don't know language they may reject also it is important to know that some schools may have a limited number of spot available for foreign students and the admission process can be competitive so that's why you should be approach early the means to best apply to the uh, uh, admissions to to approach early to the nearby our schools and to get the uh, acceptance in summer in summary 
The admission process for foreign children in Korea elementary schools involves providing necessary documents such as a valid visa and passport, immunization record, academic transcript, and language proficiency test. These things, and sometimes the some schools they ask the interview also. So that is the details of elementary school admission. How we can get the admission? So what is the class size of the elementary school? Generally, the Korean elementary school, according to Korean Ministry of Education, the size is recommended to thirty five students per class. That means thirty five students per one teacher. So, but it is uh, practically it is not happened. Sometimes it is low, or sometimes it will be high also. So, in recent years, the Korean government has made efforts to reduce the class size in elementary schools, particularly in school, schools located in less urban areas, means rural areas, so they can get le less student size also. Overall, why? There is no fixed class size for elementary schools in Korea. Efforts have been made to keep class sizes manageable and provide students with quality education. And <clears throat> then wow, what is the uh, uh, parents' role in Korean elementary school? Uh, I will explain here. So here are some of the ways to which parents are involved in their child's education. So the parents' role is very important to uh, guide our children are interacting with the Korean teachers. So that is very important uh, role. Uh, parents' roles is very important to Korean elementary schools children's. So mainly the parent-teacher conferences. The parent teachers conference are held regularly in Korean elementary schools. So they may ask many questions about our child and uh, they will also explain our child how he's behaving in the school and uh, how he's doing in the home also they will ask us. So these things they can be and interchange each other. That means parents and teacher, they can be guide the student in L manner. So opportunity to parents to meet with their child's teacher and discuss their progress and the many uh, concerns they may have. So these meetings are usually held twice a year and parents may be encouraged to attend ad additional meetings if necessary. Also, they will in parent teacher conferences, they may ask for parent to parent to teacher meeting also. It is commonly also they can conduct and parent to teacher also they can conduct. So in that case, they will ask feedback of our child and we will also ask feedback of our child in the classroom and they will ask feedback of our child in home, how he's behaving, these things. Uh, so this for this we should be the parents must and should know the Korean language. Otherwise, they cannot be communicate because the uh, the Korean teacher not much know about the English, but they know only Korean languages. So that's I said the uh, parents should be know the Korean language. Then only it is uh, easy uh, in the Korean elementary school or high school whatever. Voluntary also is very important. Parents are often encouraged to volunteer in their child's classroom or participate in school events such as field trips, sports days, and cultural festivals. This helps to create a sense of community within the school and allows parents to support their child learning. Homework support is very important. So Korean parents generally, they very supportive for their child's education and play an active role in helping their child with homework and study. As I said, uh, the, if you don't know the Korean language, we cannot uh, support to our child because that uh, totally the homeworks or whatever they given in the Korean language, even they given the apps also, they can provide all things in the Korean language. We can't, uh, if we don't know the Korean language, we cannot uh, uh, know our child what is doing also. And uh, many parents hire private tutors also for this. We can have, uh, there is a private tutors also we can get and we can uh, uh, take their help to help our children also. Attend after school academies to help their child success uh, academically also. And another one is, uh, that is financial support. It's about Korean parents, they are supporting for financials like uh, some service, like including pay, paying for textbook or uniform, something, but it's not compulsory for foreigners. It's up to parents. So communicating with the school stuff is very important. I told, as I told you, you know, parents are encouraged to communicate regularly with the school stuff, including teachers, administrators, and counselors. This may involve sharing information about their ch child's progress or behavior or asking for support or advice when needed. 
so overall the parents are seen as important partners in their child's education in korean elementary schools and are expected to be actively involved in supporting their child's learning and success so there is after school also there is some daycare centers that is called as angwon angwon in korea so there is a we can also call as academies so there is a private academies there is a government academies also even up, uh, some schools have the after school there is a agwans there itself in the school itself so they can keep up to after school means 2 o'clock it's the school finish then after that <clears throat> they can take care uh, children in the agwans so they can keep it up to 5 5:30 so if you want to keep more overnight that means up to not overnight means uh, late late night uh, means 8 or 9 there is a separate uh, centers like angwan and government but for this uh, the parents should be both parents should be work they should be worked both parents should be work then they can be allowed if either one not work they cannot be allowed for this so that is there so that means for that we need to uh, give Uh, our employment means both parents employment we have the employment both are working means contracts we should be submit to the angwans they can allowed for that otherwise they cannot be give this service so uh, otherwise we can have some private academies uh, so we can also send in private academies they can be uh, service uh, different aspects like a tutoring and homework support and extra curricular activities and uh, also supervision care and extended hours as i told you know after means 5:30 generally in the schools there is a daycare center they can keep up to 5:30 if you want to keep on late uh, hours that means uh, 8 8:30 also if both parents working it's difficult to, to take care uh, our children you know so in that case we can send them in uh, extra extended hours that is there is some centers uh, they provided the government so there is also free so we can send them but the, we need to face some snacks free or something so if you want to give our children some snacks these things they may ask some snack pieces and also as i told in element school they they supply the textbooks all but we need to buy notebooks only textbooks also they can supply freely government schools so overall daycare centers in korea provide an important service for working parents and play an important role in supporting students academic and personal development outside of the school hours also so what is the different uh, between private and uh, government schools means in the private schools uh, that is uh, funding by the Uh, some management and also they collect some pieces uh, tuition pieces and some uh, donations like that but the government schools the support all funding by the government so that is different and also admission requirement is very difficult in private schools there is a minimum number of uh, uh, vacancies available so for that if you want to get we need to approach uh, at least to 3 uh, to 4 months we uh, need to apply for admissions and sometimes they may take lottery also in the private schools even the government schools also it's happened but in private schools mostly more competitive because of they they have the limited uh, vacancies to get uh, admission so they may get uh, uh, curriculum also it's a uh, flexible in the private schools so they may add some other activities other curriculum also extra like uh, some languages some or music or other uh, things also but in government school there is a standard uh, curriculum so class size also teacher student ratio also very small compared to government schools so discipline is more disciplined in the private schools and compared to government schools as you know that so it is worth noting that there is a general difference between government and private element schools in korea and there may be exceptions or variations depending on the specific schools also as i told you the elementary education system in korea and india a different in in several ways here are some of things uh, key comparisons that is access and enrollment here the korean elementary education system mandatory and free for all children aged 6 to 12 years so the net enrollment rate of uh, enrollment of in primary education is 100% means almost all children enter into the primary school but the same thing is ha- how in our india system also but as you see in the Uh, that means uh, according to report that means inesco report the enrollment is 91% only 
in the primary education and curriculum and teaching methodology is also quite different <clears throat> when compared to india and here here is most mostly they can be do as i said uh, uh, dr asia so they may teach some experimentally and usually and including some lectures discussions and group discussions and methodology different various methodology there is and digitalization also there is but in india curriculum uh, varies depending on the state also so but typically includes a focus on language math and science and indian teachers uh, often is a rote learning as a teaching methodology that means they can be by heart or they memorize all things they can teach it at the, like in board but here they can be so in the powerpoint or usual or some uh, experimental way also they can teach that is the different uh, methodology compared to india so that means it is more uh, the students can have more fun and they can easily understand and compared to our education and teachers qualifications also on training also is different the korean elementary school teachers are required to hold a bachelor's degree and a teaching certification also and teachers also required complete ongoing professional that means they every time they need to update their self to a uh, present situation so they train up and they will develop professionally and they can give uh, throughout their career they will do it so in india elementary school teachers they have uh, also the diploma in elementary education or bachelor's degree in education uh, and uh, and training and qualifications elementary school uh, teachers in india so assessment and evaluation also is different and so here is that you know assessment and evaluation is important part of the elementary education system students are evaluated on their performance in exams as well as their overall behavior and attitude in the school so they can be take care exams as well as behavior and attitude but in korean system uh, sorry in indian system uh, will as assess only an examination based not in a behavior and attitude these things that means they consider it, uh, the manner of uh, children so they may uh, grow uh, give guidelines to how we can behave that also is important so school infrastructure and resources also is means korean elementary schools are well equipped with modern facilities and resources including well stocked libraries and computer labs and sport facilities but india is some is a different huh? uh, state to state and as many schools lack of basic facilities such as running water and electricity there have been recent efforts to improve the school infrastructure in india including construction of new schools and provisions of resources such as textbooks and uniforms overall while both korea and india uh uh have made a strid in improving their respective elementary education system there are still significant difference between the two so as i told you earlier and we can compare it the world education system we can also see that some world education system how it is in korea so the curriculum and standardizing test so the korean education system is highly focused on academic achievement and the curriculum is structured and to ensure that students receive through the grounding in math science and other core subjects korean students are required to take a number of standardized tests throughout their academic careers including the college statistics scholastic ability test csat which is taken to uh, uh, and enter into the universities so they must should be uh, have this test after undergraduation also if you want to socialize it means if you are an environmental engineer so you need to write uh, some test also for environmental engineer after grad undergraduation or if you want chemistry you need to write another test in the government test uh, that means we want to get the certificate if that certificate only will get uh, uh outside jobs so we want to go companies or something so if you have the certificates it is more valuable in comparison many other countries including united states have more desired diverse curricular and pure standardized test teachers training and professionalism also as i told is different in korea so they continuously update their self and they have the uh, uh, professional and also to become a teacher in korea individual must pass a rigorous 
exam and complete a four year teacher training program teachers in korea are, uh, are also required to participate in ongoing professional development and training throughout their careers in contrast teacher training requirement and standards vary widely in other importance and parent and involvement is very important uh, in korean system korean education system parents are highly involved in their children's education in korea and it is common for parents to invent a significant time and money in their children's academic success so in comparison parental involvement in other countries can vary widely with some parents being highly engaged in their children's education and others taking a more hands off approach focus on extra curricular activities korean students often have very little free time to do uh, due to the emphasis placed on academic achievement but many still participate in extra curricular activities such as sports music and dance but in some other countries they have some extra curricular activities are considered to be an important part of the students education and are highly emphasized so the school funding the things is okay so overall korean education system is highly focused on academic achievement it is strong emphasis on testing teacher training and parental involvement while this system has produced impressive academic results some critics argue that is placed to much pressure on a student and can lead to high levels of stress and burnout it's is important to note that there are there is no uh, one size fits all approach to education and different countries many priorities different aspects of education depending on their cultural values and social priorities so that's all so thank you namaste so if you have any questions we can interact uh, on the interaction session thank you thank you uh, so much professor for organizing your uh, so for mm-hmm. sharing your uh, valuable experience and uh, useful information for the uh, indian people uh, but suppose the similarly if someone uh, will share the information like you long time ago so for many parents maybe they get a benefit and they get enough information to teach their kids uh, at least it is not too late so thank you so much for the valuable information so next right. next i will Sorry. continue some more information and finally uh, let us see the questions from the speakers uh, thank you so much sir yeah it's a great opportunity to share my ideas thank you <laughs> and my experience Yeah, Professor Reddy, uh, Janardhan Reddy sir shared the information about the school education. After the school education, uh, students uh, would like to join in the university education. Uh, before the university education, uh, there is a test that is um, college scholastic ability test. Short form is CSAT. So Professor Reddy already explained uh, the test importance. now i will share the some information also so mm. today i already explained the importance of the language and mathematics and science and also english and korean history these are the subjects covered in the sit at test and this is the examination structure if you see here there are five sessions the exam will start at morning 8 am uh, it should be there at the examination hall at morning 8 10 am so it will uh, continue until the evening uh, uh, 5:45 so the score of the test is uh, shown in this uh, table if you see here language has like 100 and also mathematics 100 and other activities like a 50 so overall it is 500 if you see the range and the, after the test uh, you will see the result the results uh, you can find uh, that here Uh, after the examination so the once you will get a good rank in the csat in the korea who are studying in korean they should write that csat program who are studying in india they uh, they don't need to write this examination so after the school education everyone has a dream to do the, like study the higher education it's particularly the higher education is useful to improve their skills and knowledge on a specific area 
So for this higher education, um, uh, this, if you see this uh, higher education is applied science and consisting of uh, contents derived from the research and also accumulated field experience and the relevant principles drawn from the behavior science. So there is a, like uh, philosophy, principles and content and method focused on the problems. So the, uh, our OS, uh, ISRK, like is sharing the schedule, um, particularly uh, to become the specialized area, uh, we should pursue the higher education. At higher education uh, level, the scholarship is the uh, more important uh, for the continuing their education for others. So scholarship fulfill, uh, fulfills the dream of the student for higher education. The vision of the SRK education team is support the brilliant student from the small towns in fulfilling their dreams of studying in the top academic institutions. ISRK is organizing a series of live interaction sessions from February to February 19, that means from today until the April 13, 2023. While uh, detailing the various Korean scholarship options, Korean government and Korean university and other institutions and the professors are the different options for the scholarship. So we would like to, uh, uh, so the here, the scholarship uh, are funded like a various uh, institutions. So for them, and also we will cover the programs, including the undergraduate courses, such as the bachelor uh, science, bachelor's of engineering, master courses, such as the master science and master's of business administration, MBA, doctor of philosophy, PhD, post, uh, postdoctoral research, uh, international finance, and Korean language and job opportunities in South Korea. Students are obtaining right information with the ability to ask the questions to the speaker and appreciation from the uh, various uh, uh, like Indian embassy and also Korea, uh, Korean embassy in India for this program also motivated our volunteers. As a part of executive team, we feel that our willing um, like passion for such causes makes us a uh, unique to organization. We have listed the summary of all the fellowships in the um, uh, presentation. So today we cover the uh, Korean education system. So now uh, in, the, uh, in the couple of weeks, we are going to organize the GKS scholarship program for the master's and, uh, and under graduation and the PhD program. So GKS means Global Korean Scholarship Program. So this is a Korean uh, Korean government supported program. So the Korean government will support through the embassy and also the directly you can also get the support from the institutions. But however, still you need the permission from the professor. So ne uh, this is uh, next March 5, we are going to Organize, uh, like uh, ISRK will organize the MBA and masters in the mass communication, masters in the international studies. So this is only uh, limits for the tomorrow. There are like, no doubts. Some benefits are like useful for the students. Next, in the March 12, we are going to like ISRK will uh, conduct a live interaction session on the university and professor funded uh, scholarship for the masters and the PhD and postdoc fellows. So, the March 19th, the SRK will also organize the Brain Korean, Brain Korea Fellowship for the Masters, PhD, and postdoc uh, fellow, as well as medical courses. The Brain Korea is a scholarship program initiated by the Korean government. It aims to cultivate outstanding scholars who can take the lead in the responding social changes. The program supports the graduate students and academic activities through the, this scholarship program uh, by the, for the conferences and also seminars and special lectures. In April 2, uh, we are going to organize the live interaction session on the UST Korean International Scholarships 
US team is University of Science and Technology is a graduate level university specialized in science and engineering education and the research under the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, Korea. National wide, there are 20, 32 government funded research institutions across the different cities of the South Korea with the headquarters situated in the Asia. So in March, sorry, sorry, in April 9, there is a program on the Brain, Brain, Brain Pool Fellowship Program for the postdoctoral. Brain Pool DP postdoctoral fellowship is one of the prestigious fellowships in the Korean for the postdoctoral research. And the means Ministry of Science and uh, ICT and the NRF National Research Foundation of Korea welcome the application for the host researchers in the South Korea who wish to invite outstanding scientists in joining the painful program. So next, uh, April 16, the one more session is on the postdoctoral fellowship is the IBS. IBS, which stands Institute of Basic Science, was established in the November 2011 by the South Korean government with the purpose of advising the basic sciences with its leading researchers and infrastructure. IBS conduct the world leading research comparable to the institutions like the MPC in the Germany, Rinken in Japan. There are uh, currently 32, uh, 33 research centers. They plan to increase the institutions over the 50. So further, um, we will also share the opportunities for the Korean language learning supported by the Korean government and also other institutions as well as the topic exam. And finally, uh, we will also share the information about the job searching in South Korea. We have renewed speakers for each session from three speakers to the five speakers for uh, every session. So hope you can join with us and uh, gain the knowledge and also you can share the information to your friends or the kids, someone who wish to study in Korea. So in the next week, we are going to, uh, the ISRK is going to organize the live introduction session on the education and employment, global research scholarship. So we, we are also saving for the, from BS student, uh, for the bachelor's and also master's, PhD, and also for the PhD, uh, like master's in the other education also, as well as we will continue. So thank you so much for everyone. So it's the uh, audience and the speakers like you that makes this session awesome and amazing. And thank you very much for your unwearing attention taken and the time insightful contributions throughout this uh, session. Uh, hello, uh, myself Baskar. Thank you for the wonderful session, sir. So I would like to thanks once again for all the speakers. So I have a question uh, regarding the Orin EGB school fee uh, because I have a uh, kid like who is three years old as per Korean uh, age. So I just want to know whether if I send my son to the Orin Egypt, whether the fund will be supported by Korean government. Korean government. I am staying in Incheon, Bupyeonggu. The reason, the question I'm asking, I have a daughter who she's going to Chodung Hagyo this year from March because there is one uh, Orin Egypt plus uh, Yuchi one, she was going. For 2020 and 2021, I paid a full fee. From 2022, first semester, the government uh, provided 50% and I 
provided 50% and the second semester government fully provided because uh, we are a foreign foreigner and I heard from them probably from three months before from the age of four from Korean age of uh, for, for as per the Korean age they will provide uh, like full support from next year means from 2023 if the kid is not the four year then we we need to pay full money for the Orin Egypt uh, like it, it, it costs around 400 uh, lakh Korean one plus so I just want to make sure because when one of uh, uh, first uh, speaker when they're explaining they said from March 2023 it's going to be free uh, I think they are government going to provide some 200 K Korean one and remaining we need to pay I just want to make like understand well will that applicable for all the states like Seoul Incheon or only particular to the one state thank you um, I think uh, it depends on the region Uh, and uh, I want to know how to uh, how to avail this two hundred thousand. Like, is there any uh, any application or is there any way we have to apply for that? No, actually, I received uh, this notice from the kindergarten that uh, okay. they the directive said from this uh, twenty twenty three March they they are going to support government going to support two hundred thousand Korean own for the kids from ah. uh, five to six years okay that means we have to mm -hmm. we have to inquire in the respective ah. kindergarten like yes 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 ah, okay uh, in the maybe i think it depends on the region also uh, maybe. i think so maybe yeah so mr master like uh, our speakers are uh, like uh, emphasizing that so number one, if you want uh, that discount, uh, you should contact your kindergarten. And also they are like uh, controlling that uh, it depends on the area. So thank you so much for the nice, uh, nice question from the Mr. Bhaskar. Uh, thank you so much for the lecture. I've been here since it started. It was a really good experience. Uh, actually, I'm studying right now in Korea University. I'm in the Korean language program and I applied by myself. But I wanted to study in the undergraduate program in my university. I have already done my undergraduate in India and I have done it in BSc Life Sciences. But my purpose for studying in Korea was to study uh, engineering I wanted to do computers uh, like software engineering in my university. So is there any restriction regarding changing the stream in Korea? According to my knowledge, uh, if you want to change the stream, then I think you have to take some additional subjects. Like uh, uh, additional uh, subjects what? you need to take like uh, uh, serious uh, uh, like uh, you want to join for uh, engineering yeah i want to join for computer soft uh, like software engineering in my university go to the hakyo so uh, so you have there will be some uh, supplementary subjects you have to take if you want to change the stream like it, what you, you mean in the application uh, yeah, we have to take some supplementary additional subjects. In the so, undergraduation? Oh, in undergraduation. So for the qualification, am I eligible? Oh, you're uh, eligible. Uh, I'm eligible. Yeah, and yeah. I, Just to have to take uh, some supplementary subjects. And I was checking their website and they mentioned about like CSAT but mm. I heard from the lecture that the people who studied in India, they don't need CSAT in Korea. Yeah, but yeah, we, no but we in India, we have SAT exam. Yes, yes. Yeah, is that important? Because I don't have the SAT exam. 
Oh, oh here, uh, I think you can uh, write these eyelids. Uh, yeah, I have eyelids. Yeah, eyelids and toic, toffel is uh, enough they... here. Oh, okay. And I also had a question that uh, does the ISRK team uh, help in applying in the university? Because some of the steps are really confusing. Is there anything who actually helps in applying to the university? Because like all my friends, they like the Chinese, Mongolian and Japanese friends, they all have their own people who help in applying. But I was trying to find someone since a month. <laughs> I could not find any Indian person who helps in applying for the university. It was really hard. <laughs> Yes, for asking this, like myself, Lelis, and we are working, uh, we are uh, not supporting directly to apply, but our team, like this, mm -hmm. we have the several uh, scholarship sessions, and we have also the, like, uh, representative in different university who used to, like, uh, support uh, the new people who are, like, uh, need the guidance, and not, mm -hmm. uh, and also try to ha help, like, uh, step by step how much uh, we can support. We have not the uh, individual person which are associated. We are just the non-profit voluntary organization. So we try our best in all the university, how much we can support. And in each sessions, might be today we got some idea. So this sessions is particularly about the undergarden school and all, and other upcoming sessions. So what you have the doubts about the graduation level, uh, BS, masters and PhD, different scholarship session and also entry how we can fill mm -hmm. the form. Like in each yeah. session, might be you, you can see in the previous year sessions of 2022, where all the speakers have uh, used to share their experience, each points, like how to mm -hmm. fill the uh, form, how to approach the professor, what are the, how to write the SOP, how to write the cover letter, all details will be covered in the upcoming sessions. So humble request to you, please join us in the next sessions. And we can also mm -hmm. feel free to write uh, any query to our ISRK admins in the Facebook or any social media. We will try to help mm -hmm. you how much we can. We are, yeah. uh, we are just trying uh, uh, since three years, more than three years and uh, till date, more than 4,000 students have, uh, have been associated with us. So we, mm -hmm. uh, please, a uh, humble request to join us in the further sessions. Yes, so and, you mentioned that in the next session where you uh, inform us about the global Korea scholarship, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, you will mention about the bachelor's and undergraduate oh, courses. Yeah. Okay, and about the Facebook, I actually messaged you but I understand you are busy. So like, <laughs> when okay, I want can, to- uh, Yeah, yeah, you can you message can... me again. Excuse me, sorry anyone? for that. Yeah, uh, you okay. can- uh, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I will reply uh, later. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Yadav, uh, for the good Thank time. you so much. You can find actually the perfect answer in the coming uh, soon sessions. So please follow us and you will uh, get a perfect idea. Then uh, our speakers will also help you and our volunteer will also be with, uh, with you to apply for your uh, education or like for masters or undergraduate, whatever the program. So thank you so, so you, much for your question. Yeah. Mr. Yadav, want to join an undergraduate? Uh, yeah, Ganesh, yeah, you can ask your query. Thank you, Team Ayasake, for this really informative session. I thank you very much. Actually, my question is related to the kindergarten. Uh, actually, I have 2.5 year international age girl child. Uh, actually, mm -hmm. I want to know for, from what age the kindergarten we can apply for the kindergarten. And also, from the two speakers, uh, uh, I came to know that uh, the government kindergarten is somehow affordable compared to the private kindergarten. So how hmm. to find the government kindergarten? This is my second question. And the third question is related, somewhat related to the first one who asked the question, that is uh, 200K support uh, from this March, whether it is for month or whether it is for one year. So these are my three questions. Please uh -huh. answer. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, if your daughter, if your kid is 2.5 years, then uh, generally from like three months, they are uh, 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 kids mm -hmm. can go to the orange jeep. 
Okay. So it is a two point five years means you can admit any or any jeep, and uh, okay. I think the Miss Suma can uh, talk on that because she has her daughter is uh, from birth she is here. Uh, oh, okay. So and uh, uh, in that in that view two hundred k I think it is depend on the uh, kindergarten and first of all mm -hmm. we have to check in our locality how many kindergartens are there. And if, uh, and uh, is there a government one? We can ask them directly. Generally, uh, my my daughter is going to UG one. It is uh, attached mm -hmm. to the elementary school, so it is a government okay, one. Okay. Okay. And there are also private ones. So first of all, we have to check how many kindergartens are nearby your home or uh, available. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, I think we have to ask them directly. And uh, okay. uh, Doc Miss Suma, you can uh, you can talk on that. Is is she available? Uh, actually, this two hundred thousand Korean own is for monthly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's for monthly. Monthly, yeah, monthly. Uh, okay, that's good. Yeah, okay, okay. And uh, my last question is that, uh, uh, it is, do we have any particular time to admit our uh, child, or is there we can admit any time? No, there is a particular time like uh, spring and autumn. Okay, okay. If suppose, uh, uh, if suppose there is a uh, advertisement for the spring, if mm -hmm. I didn't get the admission, or suppose if uh, uh, I I don't want to get the admission, uh, can I get maybe in between, maybe after the spring and between the winter, or I have to wait until the autumn? Uh, no, it depends on the kindergarten. If they have any uh -huh. vacancy, then they will uh, take admissions. Uh, no, no. I, I they... mean, I mean. Uh, uh, is the admission is uh, when they will call for the admission, then only we have to apply and we have no, to. No, no, in between also or... possible. In uh -huh. between also possible uh -huh. if there is any okay. vacancy available. Ah, uh, okay. It depends upon the number of students and uh, vacancies. students, yeah, vacancies. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for everyone. So in kindergarten, there is no like a specified period or time. You can contact any time. You can get admission any time. Depends on the. Uh -huh. uh -huh. First of all, how uh -huh. many seats are available there? That is more important. And if they are ready to take admission, uh, to give admission, then they will suggest us. Uh, means like for my daughter, uh, they have given the admission in the uh, autumn session. Like from September, but from August, she was going for like one or two hour and they didn't charge for the, those time. Hello? Uh, okay, yeah, I, I can eat. Just yes, because. yes. Okay. Yeah, so I, you I, have I, to I, first I, approach the kindergarten. That is more uh, important step and uh, they should have the availability. Yeah, okay. Okay, ma'am. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. So, thank you so much for the audience and also the speaker for India's participation and spending for your uh, like spending your valuable time and sharing your ideas and for the good questions from the speaker. So, uh, now I would like to um, Dr. Laila Ji for the vote of thanks. Um, Dr. Laila Ji, please take over the session. Yeah, uh, thank you, Vasudevji, for connecting the this session very uh, in a unique way. Uh, like we ha uh, we are doing the interactive session since three years, but uh, today's session is too much interactive and uh, informative to all the, uh, especially parents. Earlier, we are doing the sessions for uh, students who are pers who are doing the master's, PhD, or bachelor's or post -doc doctor. But this is the first sessions within three years we are uh, conducted first time. Uh, this whole credit goes to uh, our educational team, Dr. Basil Diddiji. Uh, on behalf of Indian Student Research in Korea ISRK team, I would I uh, I would like to thank Dr. M. Basil Diddiji, Ms. Sumaji, Dr. Anya M. Tamuliji and Professor K. Janathan Rediji for your precious time and covering the, all the important uh, points about the nursery uh, and also kindergarten, school, and university. Here I am sure that 
more than 80% student who are doing the phd masters and postdoc they don't have idea about the school and uh, kindergarten how, how the their children uh, can get that mission in korea in that 80% i also involved uh, in that percentage because i uh, from today's sessions i also got the too much knowledge about all the details and that is also a, a very helpful sessions and uh, uh, we are uh, extremely thankful to all the audience that who have uh, given their precious time and asked the uh, query about their doubts and we are also thankful to our partners asian community news korean embassy and the indian embassy who have supported us while publicizing this sessions all also all the indian isrk uh, educational program in their uh, sites and we are also thankful to all the community leaders in korea who have uh, al uh, always used to support us in from the starting points to till uh, in and all the sessions of educational and information in korea have been shared in their uh, particular channel so we are uh, deliberately thank you to all the isrk team members who are deliberately working day and night and i am also thankful to our uh, vice president and uh, dr iqbal kaji ji for kind support and also other uh, educational team members including basudev reddy ji to lead the isrk team and reach uh, this level to uh, connect with us now upcoming sessions will be on based of uh, global korea scholarship gks uh, for the bs masters phd so there is two types of uh, interest in embassy track and university track so people who are interested to have like uh, bs masters and phd in the government scholarship level so they can join in the next week and we will conduct up to 10 sessions at the same time from 6 to uh, 7:30 uh, kst and 2:30 to 4 o'clock ist on every sunday so uh, if you have any query we are on also live on the isrk facebook there you can ask the query with our speakers and we connected with us on the isrk facebook telegram instagram and twitter thank you so much once again and be connected with us thank you jai hind jai bharat thank you thank you yeah thank you so much for thank your you.